still go. One thing that I really want to make a video about, it's kind of like a uh, overall observation I've had in my own training, and then kind of just some food for thought for y'all as far as exercise selection. And then we'll talk a little mindset. First and foremost, I want to share uh, some thoughts that I've had with weighted calisthenics and their transference to bench press in terms of what is the most productive in, for an accessory if your goal is to have a stronger bench press. This is gonna sound a little, it's gonna be hard to say just because dips are cooler than push-ups in my opinion, like seeing someone do like a heavy weighted dip is always cooler and more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion than just seeing someone do weighted push-ups because push-ups are the most used, most abused exercise possible. A lot of people look at it as like a, uh, a jabroni exercise. But for purposes of transference to, to, to bench press and using it as an accessory, track back to the degrees of transference that I talked about and it was either the last video that I made, it was informative, I don't know. I'll look back and then link it in the description. But with actual carryover, meaning you put X amount of pounds on this lift and X lift will go up. Here we go. My, my girlfriend, a woman, fucking game goblin, calling me. Cancel. Decline. Never decline your significant other's uh, call, by the way. I'm going to pay for that later. Uh, <laughs> degrees of transference is actual carryover. Carryover means you increase this lift by X amount, X amount, X lift goes up proportionally. So, for example, if, you, if I increase my Romanian deadlift by 100 pounds, my conventional deadlift is also going to go up 100 pounds. Uh, if I increase my close grip bench 100 pounds, my wide grip bench is going to go up 100 pounds. If I increase my Larson press 100 pounds, so on and so forth. If I put 80 pounds on my weighted dip, my bench press will only go up maybe like 10 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Just because the movement pattern is really different. Oh, a dip is this. Okay. And a bench press is this. Well, what else is this? A push-up. It's almost too simple. Yeah. Now the really cool thing that you can do. It's hard, but I think I got to it quicker this time a little bit. Obviously, we're